Picturography, having a sense of humor. Does it benefit your business? That's the topic for today. Hi everybody, Donovan here, owner of Donovan Photographics, founder of Masters of the Wall Portrait Seminars and creator of Peace Through Profit, a website that helps artists to sell their work without selling their soul. And if you're going to do that, you might as well have a good time doing it. That's what I always say. So is there an advantage to having or bringing humor, introducing humor into your portrait sessions? And I'm talking mostly about the sessions right now. As a portrait photographer, I find that to be very advantageous and we're going to go over some reasons why I feel that way and things that I've seen happen over the years that would convince me that having humor is a good thing in your business and yes it does benefit you you probably already know that somewhat uh, let's go over some ideas here there's a time for humor and there's a time to be serious okay you need discernment when it comes to that but generally keeping the session light and humorous is always going to be a good thing for your client. Uh, humor is the way to make it fun and memorable. Everybody likes a good, fun memory. No one likes to think that, gee, that was a really rotten time. I'm going to buy a lot of photos of it. It just doesn't happen. Uh, how much humor should you use? It really depends on the kind of expressions that your client is looking for. Does your client want something more explosive? <laughs> they want laughter. Do they want subtle smiles do they want to look serious I interview every single one of my clients beforehand and without fail they will want something where people look happy looking happy requires creating an environment where that can thrive and exist and humor really perpetuates that so being funny having a good time being humorous will help your clients have that nice relaxed easygoing smile on their face and we're going to talk about how to do that too in a little bit um, you want to make things enjoyable like I said for your client and the whole process should be enjoyable it shouldn't be compared to having a root canal it should be something more like going to the fair or going to a show and seeing something you really really enjoy it should stick in their memory as a really positive and uplifting thing that experience that they've had there are some reasons and advantages for introducing humor into a portrait session one is it you need to relax people and yourself okay because when you're relaxed you're gonna be at your best when your clients are relaxed they are also going to be at their best it allows humor allows them to let down their guard and let you in so it helps create and maintain that connection with your client the bonding element it forms that connection and creates a common bond we're all laughing at the same thing even if it's you uh, it's the best way to get natural expressions oh I can't believe how many photographers even people who've been in business as long as I have that would look at someone and say okay now smile let's you know I'm a dad I'm a dad I have children and the worst thing you can say to somebody is smile because then they're gonna have that fake mm -hmm. smile. the smile should come from the heart not the mind and that's the one the parents that's what they want as a parent I want to see my kids natural real expression and every parent wants to see that from their kids they don't want the fake ones and that's generally one of the things that separates you from all the other people out there doing photography is creating portraits that not only have technical expertise but also have real and true and natural expressions to them never say smile to your clients please just promise me you won't do that instead introduce some humor whether it be for kids or for adults there's humor that appeals to everyone across the board so you want true and natural expressions humor influences a person's behavior and attitude so if you're getting some difficult clients for instance or there's some difficulty with the session introducing some humor can help ease the tension break the ice and bring a little bit more joy to the session 
uh, laughter relaxes the whole body. So if you can get someone to laugh, it actually relaxes all the facial muscles, muscles, all the body muscles, and, and it shows up in your face. That relaxation does. So when your face is relaxed, you're going to look a lot more natural. You're going to feel natural, and if you feel natural, you look natural, and a portrait that looks natural is going to be one that's going to be a lot more valuable to a client than one that looks like it's been overly posed, staged, and contrived. It releases endorphins, which gives us that at ease feeling. So we're like, hey man, I'm more relaxed, you know, I'm having fun. It makes you feel relaxed and it makes you feel good because those endorphins kind of pulse through your body and that sticks with you. It helps to create a memory in a different part of your brain, from what I understand. And that memory lodges in there and it's always going to be a really positive feeling. Even if they can't remember the details, what comes back in your memory is a positive feeling like, oh, that was a good experience. Rather than, boy, am I never going back to that photographer again. <laughs> You don't want everyone to hear that. You want people to have a really good and positive experience and humor helps in doing that. Giving someone to smile naturally aids in alleviating feelings of anger. Um, so when you, get, when you elicit a true and natural response to humor, any kind of anger that that person may have had earlier uh, is now alleviated. It starts, starts to go away. It's hard to be angry and happy at the same time. So, you, you know, when you're laughing and you're mad, it's not usually, that doesn't. The advantage of that is it causes, like I said, more natural expressions and it causes a feeling of, of well-being. You know, it's funny how many of my clients have admitted to me, confessed that they had an argument in the car on the way to their session or in their home before I arrived and they were fighting. They were arguing about something, what they were gonna wear, what they were gonna do, how they wanted it to look or whatever, you know? And so there's a lot of um, stuff that goes on that you don't know anything about. So introducing humor helps to get rid of all that. It helps to cause that really good feeling and create again the natural expression, which is what we want, right? We want those natural expressions. Here are some kinds of humor, okay? New category, kinds of humor. One is dry humor. It's the kind of humor that adults respond very well to. It's the kind of humor that generally people don't get as a joke. It's not meant to be a setup. It's just something very dry and humorous, but it's not something necessarily that kids would catch, but the adults are getting it. Sarcasm is usually one of those kinds of humor. Obviously, you want to be careful with the sarcasm. Uh, Clean humor, speaking of which, clean humor. Keep your humor clean. Try to stay away from dirty jokes, even if your clients are telling them. Your clients, they can say whatever they want. You as a professional want to keep your humor clean, family friendly, uh, and appropriate. What that does is that sets you, sets the bar for what who you are. It sets that bar and it tells them who you are as a professional, that you've always maintained your professionalism. You've never let it uh, slip. Clean humor is possibly one of those things that will set you apart from others. No matter what your clients say, you want to keep you, your humor clean, family friendly. Um, positive humor. You don't want to use anything that puts the client down and makes them feel bad. You know, you, know, you just got to be careful. There's so many things I wanted to say and I never said it because I know it would per be perceived incorrectly, not the way that I meant it. So uh, keep your humor positive and uplifting. And if you want to make a little bit of fun of yourself, that's fine. It's okay. Make your client feel good about themselves. Um, I've said things like, you know, somebody might say to them, to me, I don't like the way I look uh, ever, or I don't like my hair or whatever. And I go, man, if I had hair like yours, I wouldn't be complaining. When said at the right moment to the right person, it will come across as being a positive and uplifting statement. Physical humor. That's one of my favorites. It's just basically, you know, I'm a klutz. When I'm out in the, in the session and I'm moving around and I'm jumping around with, you know, doing everything, I'll trip. I'll fall. <laughs> Actually falling. Uh, yeah. And I know how to roll, so I'm fine. But I'll trip over my camera. Sometimes I catch it and, and I'll make fun of it. I'll laugh about it. It doesn't matter what happens. 
it happens if it happens to me it's funny physical humor you know um you know slapping yourself on the head dumb things like that can actually make kids laugh sometimes adults will roll their eyes you want your humor to be fun a little slapstick in there if you if you're inclined to do that but have fun with it some of the best kind of humor is to play with people's children as a family portrait artist I noticed that when I interact with people's kids, that they get, they respond really positive to that, especially when the kids respond positive to you as a photographer. Or respond, here's the clue, here, here's a secret here that's, I wasn't gonna say, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Okay, you ready? If you can interact with the parents, and get the parents having fun and smiling, the kids will look at you and look at the parents and go, this is safe, they're having fun, mom and dad are laughing, it's okay because every now and then you'll get a kid who is afraid who isn't doesn't know you they're scared to death they don't want to be there what I'm but if you're having fun and mom and dad are having fun the kids will have fun too if you have one child out of like three or four that is really like I am NOT gonna smile I don't care what you do another little tip ignore them and play with the kids that are having a good time if that kid, and tell the parents to ignore them as well. Do not pay attention to a, uh, a kid who is doing that, who's acting that way, because that's rewarding their behavior. And you don't want to reward bad behavior. You want to re reward uh, compliant behavior, at least in this situation. So you want the kids who are having a good time to get, to have a little bit more of a special time. Uh, and the other kid generally will join in because they don't want to be left out. And I have not failed in this in over 40 years, so it's worked out very well for me. You'll get it down if you don't already know it. So uh, poke fun at yourself is another way. Just poke fun at yourself. Have, you know, it's like, gee, I'm such a klutz. I tripped over my camera. <laughs> and laugh about it and allow them to laugh at you. Let them have fun at your expense. That's okay. That's great. It's fine. Uh, I do a lot of trick humor and um, funny stuff and I act like an idiot sometimes, which I'm pretty good at. Got that down to a science. People have fun and it makes the kids and the parents both respond very well. Props, our last one on the menu, props. All right, you like props? I bring props to every session. If you have children who are sort of non-responsive, parents who are a little bit non-responsive, they're not picking up on any of the jokes, uh, then you might want to use props. And backtracking a little bit, uh, if kids are responding really, really well, don't bring out props. If the kids are already responding really well, tone down your uh, jokes and your humor a little bit so that the kids don't overreact, go nuts, go ballistic and you know fly off the off the planet escaping Earth's gravity like wow that was pretty funny the kids gone now <laughs> so you really do have to you have to reel it in sometimes but in the cases where they're um, just not responding at all they're just sitting there like a piece of dead fish like eh. props props help a lot I'll give you some props right now Are you ready here's one of my favorites now, I know this looks like a puppet to you, but I always tell the kids, especially when they're not very responsive, I go, okay, everybody, everyone, look up here at my doggy, and I'm somewhere near the camera. And what do the kids say? That's not a doggy. Is that right? Now, I'm ready to fire because your timing is really, really important. So I'm ready to fire the shutter. So I'm looking at my doggy, and I go, not a doggy? Really? And oh, by the way, if you don't know how to bark, you have to know how to bark. Every professional photographer I know is an expert at making dog barks. I'm not joking, okay? <laughs> I've had mastermind groups, I've experimented with this, and they are so good. You probably are too. Dog barks, I don't know what it is. So I bark, the kids respond somehow, and click. I get the image right there. The parents are right on board with that and always remind the parents to look at you and not the kids. That's the important thing. Look up here at the puppet. Dad. Mom, dad, 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 up here. Okay, good, thank you. Uh, and play with puppets. Puppets are great, great. In fact, this is my very favorite puppet in the whole world. I've had this, you probably can guess, I've had this the full 40 years of my career. So I'm having a hard time with that. Puppets are great. They do a great job making people happy, smile. Uh, they're ridiculous, they're stupid, and people like that. They kind of lets down their hair a little bit. 
So, and the kids are not responding still. I get my, you know, got the hole in there, so I got the finger. Puppets are wonderful. Squeaker toys. Squeakers are great. Um, I highly recommend getting a squeaker. Squeakers are great for dogs and toddlers because they both are about the same, on the same level. <laughs> so squeakers are great. Everyone looks at the same time. Squeakers are really annoying uh, as an adult, but they work for kids great. Um, ball is also really great. Use a ball, have fun with it. And there's methods, and I'll go into that some, maybe some other day, uh, how to use a ball to get the kids best attention. Uh, you can make basically anything funny. I pick up sticks and rocks and leaves, and that, that's my prop. Um, get into my camera case. I get one of these and I go, all right, now all we need is a little bit of salt. And they're looking at you like, what is he talking about? Well, if he had some salt, then you'd have a salt and battery. Cracks them up, they love it. Click, you're right there on the, on the shutter, use a shutter release, that's all I recommend too. And now you've got the image. So I hope that this helps. Uh, add some humor into your business, have a good time with it. In the meantime, like the video, share it and post any comments you want down below. Take care.